Hi, I'm Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and I do grow roses for a living but not usually this kind. I grow the type that ends up in your garden. These usually end up somewhere else, namely in the garbage. These are those supermarket roses that are given away quite thoughtfully on occasions like housewarmings or Mother's Day or Valentine's and of course they sit around and look good for a while but ultimately degrade into a condition like this where the expectation is they'll end up in the garbage or at best the compost bin. But what is so different about this than another rose and could you save it? Maybe you're the kind of person that doesn't feel good about throwing things away or is sentimental or just likes to mess around with plants. What I want to talk about today is uh, why these degrade so quickly and what you can do about it uh, to make them a long-term feature in your garden. If you get a closer look at these beyond the wrapping paper and the tag that most helpfully says rose on it, uh, you will find that it has usually three or four cuttings in here that have all been stuck at the same time for fast growth and bloom in greenhouse conditions. This is your first clue about the conditions that they came from. They were grown in greenhouse with lots of fertilizer, lots of heat, lots of light, and then from that point, just to the finish line, just to this blooming stage before they're brought out to the supermarket or to the big box store to be sold to you in that transition. It stresses them out, which may hasten their descent into this condition, frankly. Um, so you're really not set up for success on these, but are they a viable rose overall? And the answer to that is that yes, they are actually miniature roses closely related to this style of rose here. Uh, miniature roses can be grown successfully in the landscape, but that's the trick, is you have to make the transition from that stressed out condition that they got to you uh, from the supermarket and get them outside into the garden, either in the ground or in a pot. All right, then let's see what it takes to put this guy into more reasonable condition. Where to start? Well, probably I'd start with some of these dead leaves across the base here. All of that leaf debris down low is just a spot for it to catch on fungal disease and rot and uh, further deteriorate the condition of the plant. So removal of anything that is uh, dead or brown from the base of the plant should be your first priority. Uh, following that, probably what I would do is I would have a look at these uh, dead flowers at the top and snip those off. You don't have to snip off a whole bunch of leaves, but getting rid of the flowers and that part of the stem will help it to start branching again down low, just shaking some of that excess from below it. You can see in a close-up here that there are indeed four different plants there, but I'm not going to go ahead and separate those right now. I think that would be stressful on a plant that already is in tough condition. What I would probably do is go ahead and get it repotted as quickly as I can. Obviously, these little roots, four little plants in this one little pot, that's a lot for them to handle. So put them down into a larger pot, give them more room to go looking for moisture and fertilizer. Speaking of fertilizer, I can see that the growth at the tips here is a little bit on the pale side. It's starving for fertilizer and that makes sense because they really only fed it up to the point where it left the greenhouse with a liquid fertilizer and it's sort of intended to run out at this point, uh, otherwise it would be an extra cost. A liquid fertilizer would be a good fast way to get fertilizer into this quickly. You can use for that something like liquid fish fertilizer or even something standard and conventional like miracle Grow. As for growing environment, I can't reiterate enough that roses really do like outdoor conditions. Full sunshine, air movement, humidity, much better than they like the conditions inside your house. So if outdoors is an option, I would go straight out with this and get it established and recovered and then straight into the garden or a larger pot. If you do have to keep them indoors for a while, I hope it's not for too long, but if so, keep it near a cool windowsill with bright light, uh, keep an eye on it for pests and try to get it back outside as soon as weather conditions will allow. If you have to offer some supplemental light and you're in a position to do so, uh, they would appreciate that. Uh, feed regularly and then get it outside as soon as you possibly can. As for something like this, I would do all the same things. I would just do them sooner. I would up pot it straight away, start feeding it straight away. Obviously let it bloom out before I deadhead, uh, but once you've enjoyed it, once you've enjoyed its display, then I would be looking to get that outdoors into the garden or into a larger pot. I hope you found that useful. If you have any other questions, please drop those down into the comments below the video. I'll see what I can do to help.